everyone. In this session, I would like to demonstrate how to generate a variable with a certain sample size, uh, which follows normal distribution with mean and standard deviation specified. Uh, so when we generate such a variable, we'll be getting the exact mean and standard deviation. All right, for that, uh, in Excel, we have to use a data analysis tool pack. Let's say I want to uh, generate a mean with 50 and standard deviation as 10. Okay. Now, let, uh, let me go to data analysis tab. In this option, we will choose random number generation press ok here we are interested in one variable the sample size we can uh, say say around 50 and the distribution I would suggest is a normal distribution okay now to start with we need to have the mean as zero and standard deviation as one. Okay, you can uh, show the output range in the same cell, say from starting from A1 and press OK. So you can see that a random variable with mean equal to zero and standard deviation equal to one with a sample size of 50 is being generated. However, if we try to look at the mean of this variable, just take the average of this 50 records, I do not get exactly zero out here. Okay. Similarly, if I try to take a standard deviation, exactly one. Right. Now, in any case, what we should do is we should do a standardization of this uh, randomly generated variable so we can do that using standardize okay and we will use not zero and one but we have to use the mean which we have calculated that is a 51 and a 52 is standard deviation all right, so we will have it dollar a fifty one and dollar a fifty two. Okay, so now why we use a dollar is for absolute referencing because we are going to refer to that every time. So we see that we have got a standardized value okay with mean zero and standard deviation one okay so we just drag it down for the 50 all right now once we have got this so we have got a scale measure and we can use this for any mean and standard deviation so what we can do is use this using a mean which is given out here so i'll select this this one because it's an absolute referencing we should use this plus again this is an absolute referencing we have to use this multiplied by this value so that's it we just take it down for 50 so this is our generated variable with mean equal to 50 and standard deviation equal to 10. So let's check that out. Let's find out the average of this. This would be average of this variable. You see the average is 50 
and we look at the standard deviation we get this as deviation as 10. So this is how you can generate a variable with any sample size and you want for that uh, want it for any mean and standard deviation okay so this type of uh, generating of variables we can make use of uh, in creating a data set or simulation and uh, also carry out certain statistical tests where when uh, where we uh, do not have data already available we can use the data and use it in any statistical software usually uh, which takes up data and generates uh, the test results okay thank you so much